Hello everyone, Treadstone here with Warlords 2, and I was recently asked to do a video on buildings and population. Um, so if you can see right now, my population is uh, 158,220. Um, yep, so it says increase your build and upgrade your facilities, and the, the higher your population, the more tax rate you get. Uh, so the more gold that you earn as income and my gold income is doubled because i'm using the uh, cathedral uh, bonus 100 percent tax rate right now um that costs cathedral blessings but anyway so so it's worth doing but basically you just need to upgrade all of your buildings um what i should have done before this is made a video of all of the cabins uh, and everything else um how many of each there are so if you notice there's uh, one two three four five six six cabins and then i have a village and a town as well um so the village is an expansion of the cabin so if you click on the cabin and you expand and you get these village blueprints and you get these through uh the trophies and you need to make sure that as you go through that all of your villages are expanded. It increases your hero evasion uh, when you go from a cabin to a village. And then also, once you do that, once you expand your cabin and it becomes the village, then it also opens up the um, cabin again. Well, so here we go. I mean, so you should have six cabins, uh, five elven huts, and... Where's the desert cabin? Six desert cabins. And then you can have one village. Uh, and then you can upgrade that to a town. And then um, you cannot expand a town any further. Um, and it's the same in the desert settlement. So you go from desert cabin, you expand that out um, to a, a desert se settlement. And you can see when you click on it first, a hero critical damage up 5%. And then hero hit point 5% once you get to the town. Um, and so once you go from settlement to the town, then you can go back and upgrade another cabin to a settlement and then it allows you to build another cabin because you're allowed to have six cabins. So to maximize your buildings, um, you, you need to make sure that you have all of them. So one, two, three, four, five huts, and then an elven settlement, um, elven domain blueprint, um, is not available yet. That'll be nice once that critical rate becomes available. I say it's not available. Um, so if you look at total population, there's your town blueprint. So you need to have all of those done. Um, there is a Elven Settlement blueprint. Uh, I don't know if you get over 100. So there's the Elven Domain blueprint. You had to get to 180,000 population. And then Tundra Village blueprint. So these are the signs that, hey, we're going to expand because um, there will be at some point an update to the game because that's not available yet, the Tundra Cabins. So uh, there's another Elven Settlement Blueprint at 160,000 and then Elven Domain at 180,000. To my knowledge, nobody has gotten their population that high. Uh, obviously, I have all of my buildings maxed out. Everything is done. Um, now you guys get to see what I get as a reward. Nice. Um, and I'm at 158,220. And so early on, I, I was really curious. I, I never understood why some people had more population than others. So if we go look at, say, Pretty Henry, um, his population is 158,310. And I said, well, we're, we're both maxed out. We're at the max level. So how is it possible that he has more population than me? Um, well, what that boils down to is your um, when you expand your storehouse capability, um, you actually get a small... Um, percentage increase. So I know he just went to 230 uh, storehouse cap or, yeah, your storehouse capacity. Um, so when I go up to level five, I will get about 10 extra population. So that would take me up to about 230, uh, 158, 230. Um, and so I think in theory, it's possible to get to the 160,000 range. Uh, even then, with the Elven Settlement Blueprint, and then you get an extra Elven Hut, I don't believe that would be enough to get us to the 180,000, but we just don't know. Um, it's I guess it is possible that 
the reason we haven't seen a game expansion is nobody's hit 160,000 population yet. Uh, we seem very far off. I did the math. I think I have like to upgrade my storage capacity, storehouse capacity, 196 more times, which obviously isn't going to happen. Um, but yeah, so make sure, you know, if you can upgrade a building, if you can upgrade something, it's going to have a green arrow on there. Um, just go through and check and make sure everything's done. The only thing that doesn't show up if you have a green arrow is you have to click on it and make sure that all of the blueprints are used. And you have to physically click on those. It's not going to show you that. And then again, once you do expand that, you can increase those five levels. And then you can go back and build build the new one. Um, upgrade all of your buildings. Let me talk about um, upgrade details and when buildings become available. Um, so if you haven't noticed under your castle, you click on upgrade details. And it tells you where you're at and what level's next. So again, uh, at castle level two, the embassy and the arena become available. Uh, the Heroes Hall, the Troop Halls, uh, War College, Cabins, and Stone Mines are available at level 1. This tells you every single building, when you get it, what you should have. Um, so if you, if you aren't sure what's coming up next, you can look. So again, Village doesn't unlock until, what, Castle Level 6. So if we go back and look, this Village did not become available in, until Castle Level 6. And even then, you can only... Uh, upgrade it one level per time so you're going to go from a cabin to a village uh, at level six and then it's going to be what level 10 before you have a maxed out level five village so you need to make sure that you're upgrading those uh, all the time uh, and that you know in like i said every castle level you want to go through and, and maximize these as much as possible so Check them out. Make sure that you have unlocked all the buildings. Make sure that you have upgraded everything. Um, anything that has a green arrow, do that before you advance your castle. Um, upgrade all of your buildings. Um, I, I always start, so I would get my castle upgraded, and then I would actually spend the 200 diamonds, and I would have the second builder going for the troop hall at the same time. Um, and then... I would only let it run for five days. I, I, I know if it would take longer than five days to upgrade the rest of the buildings, um, then I would just let it run out until after my castle was done. Just do one building at a time that way. Um, yeah, keep it all upgraded. Um, do all your, do like I said, I've said it in multiple videos. I'll keep saying it. Upgrade, you can upgrade four spells every castle level and have plenty of gold to upgrade two heroes uh, and have plenty of gold to save for the next castle level. Um, focus on heal, insight, chill, and vortex. Um, do all of your um, your uh, technology in the academy and uh, you know upgrade two heroes. That's what I would tell you. So I, I again, three musketeers and divine sage. Do all of that, you know, and upgrade your troops. So every troop level, you, you come in here and you say, well, what, what troops am I gonna do? Pick one infantry, one cavalry, one archer um, to upgrade those, and then just stop. You don't have to upgrade the rest of them. Just max out one infantry, one archer, one cavalry. So I, I would recommend the Eastern Sohi. Um, the Anmyoji is a good one, or the Ninja, or any of the archers are good. And then the Mounted uh, Bushi or the um, Manakeli. Just do those three, and then save all of your medals for the next level so that as soon as your troop hall's done um, you can quickly take those three to the next level um, and as soon as your hero hall is done you can quickly take your your heroes to the next level and then you would upgrade your spell works and your academy uh, with any time left over um, on those and then the rest of the buildings just kind of fall in place after that so that's how that's how you increase your population. Uh, that's kind of your building upgrade plan. Like every every time you upgrade your castle, upgrade everything. I'm telling you, it's it. You say, well, it's going too slow, uh, but it's going to make you better in the rest of the game. Everything else becomes easier at that point. Um, you're just gonna have to trust me on it. I did it. It takes a while, but it's worth it in the end. Um, so yeah, check all your buildings, anything with a green arrow, update those, upgrade those, and then again, check your cabins your um, to make sure that you can't upgrade those uh, using blueprints, your cabins, your village, your town, okay? 
Um, that's really all I wanted to cover in this game. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, and we can do another uh, another video on anything else that you want to talk about, okay? All right, Treadstone out.